Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyal Vanni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture on the subject Design of Transmission Systems. This is lecture number 5.5. We are going to discuss the problems in the design of per gear using PSG Design Data Book. In the earlier lecture 5.4, we discussed the design procedure, how to design a per gear using the PSG data book. Now, we, we follow the same procedure to solve numerical examples. The learning outcome to the students, at the end of the lecture, the student will be able to design per gear using PSG design data book. The first example, it was appearing in many university examination, May 2013. November 2012, May 2006, November 2006, May 2007 and May 2015. Design a state spur gear to transmit 8 kW. The pinion speed is 720 rpm and the speed ratio is 2. Both the gears are made of the same material, same surface hardened carbon steel with 55 RC rockwool harness and the core harness less than the 350 BHN. Ultimate strength is 720 Nm per millimeter square and the yield strength is 360 Nm per millimeter square. So, we write down the given data. So, power is 8 kW, pinion speed 720 rpm, speed ratio 2, material carbon steel 55 RC, BHN less than 350, ultimate strength 720 Nm per millimeter square and the yield strength 360 Nm per millimeter square. So, first calculation is the speed ratio, it is given here, given in the problem it is 2. So, Z2 by Z1 equal to N1 by N2, that is equal to 2. Z2 is the number of teeth on the gear, Z1 is the number of teeth on the pinion, N1 is the speed of the pinion and N2 is the speed of the gear. Choose the material for the gear and the pinion. So, here again this is also given in the example, carbon steel, it is given here in the example. Then we calculate the torque. So, Mt torque equal to 97,420 into power in kilowatt divided by the pinion speed. 97,420 into 8 by 720 calculating it is 1082.44 kilogram per centimeter. Then we have to find out the K value and KD value. Initially, we take KKD equal to 1.3. So, K is the load concentration factor which is available in the page number 8.15 and KD is the dynamic load factor. It is available in the page number 8.16. So, we will take the data later, but initially we assume KKD equal to 1.3 for our preliminary calculation. So, the design torque Mt within bracket equal to Mt into KKD. So, KKD we assumed 1.3. So, 1082.44 into 1.3 equal to 1407.2 kilogram per centimeter. Equivalent Young's modulus for steel from the PSD data book, the table number 9. Page 8.14 E equal to 2.15 in 10 power 6 kilogram force per centimeter square. So, here both material are steel. Then you take psi value which is B by A, phase width divided by the center distance. So, we know we do not know B and the A. So, we we take initially 0.3 B by A equal to 0.3. Now, we calculate the design compressive surface compressive stress. So, this equation is available in the page number 8.16. So, we require the data. For hardened carbon steel, we are given CR equal to 265, HRC, Rockwell C harness number is 55, KC a life factor. So, we assume 1, 1 is the life factor for the life more than 10 power 7. So, sigma C, surface compressive stress equal to CR into HRC into KCL and this equation is also available in the page number 8.16. So, substituting numerical value, it is 14,575 kilogram force per centimeter square. Now, we calculate the center distance. The equation is available in the page number 8.13. A is greater than or equal to I plus or minus 1 cubic root of uh, 0.74 divided by sigma c to the power square into E into design torque divided by I into psi. So, substituting all numerical values for external gearing, it is 2 plus 1 into cubic root of 0.74 divided by 14, 475 whole square into 2.15 in 10 power 6 into 1407.2 divided by 2 into 0.3 calculating the center distance should be greater than or equal to 7.05 centimeter. 
then we calculate the design bending stress so the design bending stress we require all the data here so the PA, from the phd data book table number 19 page number 8.19 endurance limit for the forged steel sigma minus 1 equal to 0.25 into sigma u plus sigma y plus 500 uh, 0.25 into sigma u is given as 720 newton per millimeter square sigma y is 360 newton per millimeter square uh, we have to uh, convert into kilogram force per centimeter square multiplying by 10.2 plus 500 so calculating 3254 kilogram force per centimeter square so the factor of safety is 2.5 from the page number 8.18 uh, uh, stress consolidation factor k sigma equal to 1.5 and kbl life factor page number page number 8.20 it takes equal to 1 life factor equal to 1 for life more than 10 power 7 uh, number of cycles per number of cycles <coughs> then we calculate the design bending stress 1.4 into kbl divided by n into k sigma into sigma minus 1 so substituting numerical values 1.4 into 1 divided by 2.5 into 1.5 into 3254 equal to 1214.82 kilogram force per centimeter square so this is the design bending stress now using the design bending stress we have to calculate the module of the gear so we calculate the minimum module and this uh, for calculating minimum model we have to take number of teeth on the pinion uh, initially we assume 18 to 25 i take minimum value 18 y the form factor from the ps data book page number 8.3 table 40 for z1 equal to 40 the form factor is 0.27 for 14.5 full depth gear so the 14.5 full depth gear the data is not given we are assuming 14.5 full depth gear then we calculate we will take psi m value which is b by m so phase width divided by module so both values are not known so initially we take psi m equal to 10 then we calculate the module which is greater than or equal to 1.26 into cubic root of the design torque divided by bending stress into form factor into psi m into z1 so it is greater than or equal to substituting 1.26 into cubic root of 1407.2 divided by 1214.82 into 0.27 into 10 into 18 equal to 0 0.36 0 0.36 centimeter now we have to take the higher standard module from the table 1 page number 8.2 so 0.36 is the calculated value 0 0.36 centimeter is the calculated value the next value higher value is 4 millimeter which is 0.4 centimeter so this is the standard module so further calculation is based on the standard module of the gear number of teeth on the pinion now so number of teeth from the ph data book page number 8.2 the number of teeth on the gear is at equal to 2a by i plus 1 into m and this equation is available on the page number 8.22 in the data book so substituting numerical values a into 7.05 divided by i plus 1 2 plus 1 into the standard module 0.4 it is 11.75 now the number of teeth in the pinion should be minimum 18 so we take 18 is the value and we calculate the number of teeth on the gear z2 equal to i into z1 which is 2 into 18 equal to 36 then we calculate the pitch circle diameter uh, the equations are available in the page number 8.22 in the data book so pcd of pinion m into z2 equal to 0.4 into 18 equal to 7.2 centimeter pcd of the gear d2 equal to m into z2 which is 0.4 into 36 equal to 14.4 centimeter and the center distance a equal to d1 plus d2 divided by 2 which is 7.2 plus 14.4 divided by 2 equal to 10.8 centimeter which is greater than the previous value 7.05 centimeter so this is the actual center distance then we calculate the phase width so for phase width we have two equations b equal to psi into a so psi equal to 0.3 a equal to 10.8 which is 3.24 centimeter and b is also equal to psi m into m so psi m equal to 10 module standard module is 0 0.4 which is 4 centimeter we have to take the highest value the among these two values so 4 centimeter is the phase width so b equal to 4 width so b equal to 4 centimeter uh, the higher higher value among the two then we calculate the pitch line velocity v equal to pi d1 n divided by 60 which is pi into 0 0.072 into 720 divided by 60 equal to 2.7 meters per second now we are going to verify check the design check the uh, safety safety of the design using the uh, design compressive stress and the bending stress now we have to take k value 
So K value is the load concentration factor. So from the table number 14, page number 8.15. So the K value depends on side P, which is B by D1. So B is the face width, which is 4 centimeter. D1 is the pitch, the pitch diameter of the pinion, which is 7.2 centimeter. So calculating 0.55. For psi p equal to 0.55, for cylindrical gears, a, k equal to 1.015 and the kd is the dynamic load factor from the page number 8.16. It is based on the IS quality. So, I take IS quality 6 with the pitch line velocity 2.7 meters per second. So, kd equal to 1.25. So, k equal to 1.015 and kd equal to 1.25. Now, we calculate the design torque. So, the design torque equal to mt into m t is within square bracket equal to m t into k k d 1082.44 into 1.015 into 1.25 equal to 1373.3 kilogram per centimeter. Now the check for the design compressive stress. So if we calculate the actual compressive stress and the verify with the design value what we have calculated earlier. So the actual compressive stress based on the dimensions of the gear. So we designed the dimensions so based on the dimensions of the gear. The actual compressive stress 0.74 i plus or minus 1 divided by a into square root of i plus or minus 1 into e into design torque, the new, new design torque divided by i into b. Substituting numerical values, sigma c equal to 0.74, 2 plus 1 divided by 10.18 into square root of 2 plus 1 into 2.15 into 10 power 6 into 1373.3 divided by 2 into 4. So, i equal to 2 and the b phase width equal to 4 centimeter. And the calculating, this is 6839.8, which is lesser than the design torque, what we design compressive stress, what we have calculated earlier. The, uh, earlier we calculated design compressive stress as 14575. The value is very much lower than the, uh, the design value, so the design is safe. The actual compressive stress is less than the design compressive stress, so the design is safe. So this statement you have to write. So once you verify, you have to write the statement. If the condition is not satisfied, as I told already, you have to change the phase width. So, B value is to be modified uh, for the, uh, the design compressive stress. That is the modification. We need not calculate all the parameter once again. We just change the phase width to accommodate the design compressive stress. Then we, we check for the bending stress and this equation is on the table number 8, page number 8.13a. Sigma B equal to I plus or minus 1 into A M B Y into design torque which is, which is less than or equal to design bending stress what we have calculated earlier. Now we substitute numeric values 2 plus 1 divided by 10.8 into 0.4 into b equal to 4 and the y equal to 0.27 into 1373.3. So calculating it is 8083 which is less than the 1214.82. So the design bending stress what we calculated earlier is 1214.82 kilogram force per centimeter square. So, here again the actual bending stress is less than the design bending stress. So, the design is safe. So, these two are the check. So, check for compressive stress and check for the bending stress. So, if the condition is not satisfied, if the sorry in this problem the conditions are satisfied, if the conditions are not satisfied, you have to change the, you have to increase the phase with the B to satisfy the condition. Then the check for plastic deformation. So, this calculation we follow in the first pro problem. So, in the university examination, if the check for plastic deformation is not mentioned, you need not do that. So, other, you can stop in the earlier step, check for the bending stress. So, for first, as it is a first example, we go for, uh, we check the check for the plastic deformation. So, MT maximum, design torque maximum, instantaneous maximum twisting moment 2 into MT. So, 2 into 1082.44 equal to 2164.88 kilogram per centimeter. Sigma C maximum, that is the maximum allowable surface compressive stress to avoid the plastic deformation and the value is available, equation is available in the table number 24 in the page number 8.21. So, it is 3.1 into sigma y. So, yield stress, 3.1 times of yield stress. So, 3.1 into 360 into 10.2. So, 360 newtons per millimeter square we have to convert into kilogram force per centimeter square. So, multiplying by 10.2, it is 11,383.2 kilogram force per centimeter square. Then, so sigma c maximum equal to sigma c into square root of mt maximum divided by mt, which should be less than or equal to sigma c maximum. So, substituting numerical values, 
6839.8 so this is the design this is the actual uh, surface compressive stress for the designed uh, gear and the square root of 2164.8 divided by 1082.44 this is 9672.9 which is less than 11383.2 so the maximum compressive stress is less than the maximum design compressive stress so the design is safe so this is this is also safe then maximum design the maximum design bending stress so the maximum allowable bending stress to avoid the plastic deformation it is again table number 25 it is available in the page number 8.8.19 uh, so sigma sigma b maximum equal to 0.8 into sigma y which is 0.8 into 360 into 10.2 so 360 is the yield yield stress into 10.2 2937.6 kg force per centimeter square and the sigma b maximum should be is equal to sigma b into the new maximum uh, design torque divided by the uh, design torque mt which is which should be less than or equal to the sigma b maximum what we calculated earlier so sigma b ax maximum actual value so sigma b bending stress for the designed gear is 883 into 2164.88 divided by 1082.44 which is 1766 which is less than 2937.6 so here again the design is safe because the maximum bending stress is less than the maximum design bending stress so the design is safe now we have to write the specification of the drive so this is all the specification module 4 mm center distance 10.8 cm number of teeth on the pinion 18 number of teeth on the gear 36 pcd of the pinion 7.2 cm pcd of the gear 14.4 cm face width 4 cm addendum f o into m equal to 1 into 4 equal to 4 cm addendum f o plus c into m equal to 1 plus 0.25 into 4 equal to 5 cm tooth height addendum plus didendum equal to 4 plus 5 equal to 9 cm tip circle diameter of pcd which is uh, tip circle diameter of the pinion which is pitch circle diameter plus addendum 7.2 plus 4 equal to 11.2 cm similarly tip circle diameter of the gear which is PCD plus addendum equal to 14.4 plus 4 equal to 18.4 centimeter. All these specifications we ought to write at the end of the problem. We take another example here, example number 2. So, this was uh, appearing in the May 2013 question paper. Design a straight spur gear drive. The transmitted power is 8 kilowatt, pinion speed is 764 rpm, speed ratio is 2. The gears are to be made by C45 steel. Life is to be 10,000 hours. So, here life of the gear is given. So, given data, P power equal to 8 kilowatt, pinion speed 764 rpm, speed ratio IE equal to 2, material C45, life equal to 10,000 hours. So, the speed ratio is given here in the example IE equal to 2 and uh, choose the material for the gear. Here again it is given C45 is given in the problem. And we have to take the properties of C45 from the PhD design data book, page number 1.9. So, these are all the properties are required. Ultimate tensile strength, sigma E equal to 7000 kg force per centimeter square. Yield strength, sigma Y equal to 3600 kg force per centimeter square. And the Brunel harness number, BHN equal to 229. So, these are all the information which is available in the page number 1.9, the properties of the material. Then the torque value we have to calculate. Mt equal to 97,420 into power in kilowatt divided by the speed. So, 97,420 into 8 by 764, which is 1020.1 kg force centimeter. And uh, we have to take the value KKD. So, initially we take KKD equal to 1.3 and calculate the design torque. So, Mt within square bracket equal to Mt into KKD, which is 1020.1 into 1.3 equal to 1326.13 kg force centimeter. Then we calculate the equivalent Young's modulus for the steel from the data book, page number 8.14, table 9. For steel, it is steel for both the gear and the pinion. So, Young's modulus equal to 2.15 in 10 power 6 kilogram force per centimeter square. And we take the psi value, which is B by A, face with it by center distance equal to 0.3. Initially, we assume. And we calculate the design surface compressive stress. And this equation is available page number 8.16. For the hardened carbon steel, so C45, coefficient CR equal to 265 and Rockwell C hardness number is 55. Life in number of cycles we have to calculate. So, life in number of cycles equal to 60 into N into T. So, 60 into N, N is the pinion speed, T is the life in number of hours. 
So 60 into 764 into 10,000 equal to 4.58 10 power 8. So life factor equal to 1 for any value, uh, any life number of cycles. When the life number of cycles is greater than 10 power 7, so the life factor equal to 1. So here again it is 1. So sigma c equal to CR HRC into KCL which is 265 into 55 equal to 14,575 kilogram force per centimeter square. Then we calculate the center distance. So A is greater than or equal to I plus 1 cubic root of 0 0.74 divided by sigma C whole square into E into M divided by I into psi. So substituting numerical values, A is greater than or equal to 2 plus 1 into cubic root of 0 0.74 divided by 14,575 whole square into 2.15 into 10 power 6 into 1326.13 divided by 2 into 0.3 which is 6.9 centimeter. So the A value should be greater than or equal to 6.9 centimeter. Then we calculate the design bending stress. To calculate the design bending stress, we require all this information. So all the equations are available in the table number 8.19, page number 8.19, endurance limits for the cast steel. So we assume casting process. The earlier example, we assumed the forging process. Now we take the casting process, sigma minus 1 equal to 0.22 into sigma u plus sigma y plus 500, so 0 0.22 into 7000 plus 3600 plus 500 equal to 2832 kilogram force per centimeter square. Now the factor of safety equal to 2 and the stress concentration factor equal to 1.5 and the life factor for bending it is again 1. So substituting all the values sigma b design bending stress equal to 1.4 into kbl by n into k sigma into sigma minus 1. Substituting numerical values 1.4 into 1 by 2 into 1.5 into 2832 equal to 1321.6 kilogram force per centimeter square. Then we calculate the minimum value of the module uh, from the PSC data book page number 8.13. Now for, to calculate the model we require Z1 number of teeth on the pinion we assume 18. So this should be it should be between 18 and the 25 we take 18. The form factor for Z1 equal to 18 from table 40, it is 0.27 for 14.5 degree full depth gear. Then we, uh, we take psi m equal to b by m equal to 10 initially. So then we calculate the module. So module is given by module is greater than or equal to 1.26 into cubic root of design torque mt divided by design bending stress into y form factor into psi m into z1, which is greater than or equal to 1.26 into cubic root of 1326.13 divided by 1321.6 into 0.27 into 10 into 18 which is 0.345 centimeter. Now we have to take the next higher value. The next higher value of the module from the page number 8.2 table number 1. So it is 3.5 millimeter or 0.35 centimeter. So we have taken point, we have calculated 0.345 centimeter. We take the next higher value 0.35 centimeter. Now we calculate the minimum number of teeth in the pinion. So from the equation, using this equation from the page number 8.22, Z1 equal to 2A by I plus 1 into M, which is equal to 2 into 6.9 divided by 2 plus 1 into 0 0.35, which is 13.1. So we, the minimum value should be 18 for pinion. So we take a 18 value, Z1 equal to 18, and number of teeth on the gear, Z1 equal to I into, I, Z2 equal to I into Z1, so 2 into 18 equal to 36. Then we go for checking. So we calculate the pitch diameter. So PCD of the pinion B1 equal to M into Z1, 0 0.35 into 18 equal to 6.3 centimeter. PCD of the gear D2 equal to M into Z2, 0 0.35 into 36 equal to 12.3 centimeter. We calculate the center distance A equal to D1 plus D2 divided by 2, which is 6.3 plus 12.3 divided by 2 equal to 9.45 centimeter. These are all the basic uh, calculations, dimensions of the gear. And we calculate the phase width. So B equal to, we have two equations, B equal to psi into A, so 0 0.3 into 9.45 equal to 2.835 centimeter and the B equal to psi M into M, which is 10 into 0 0.35 equal to 3.5 centimeter. So the highest value among these two is 3.5 centimeter. So the actual phase width B equal to 3.5 centimeter. Then we calculate the pitch line velocity. So V equal to pi D1 N divided by 60. So pi into 0 0.063 into 764 divided by 60 equal to 2.5 meters per second. Now for checking, we take all the parameters. So load concentration factor from table number 14, page number 8.15. For psi p equal to b by d1 equal to 3.5 divided by 6.3 equal to 0.55. It is 1.015. 
and the dynamic load factor from table number 15, page number 8.16 for IS quality X, uh, 6 and the V equal to 2.5 meters per second, KD equal to 1.25. Now we calculate the design torque, design torque equal to torque into KKD, so 1020.1 into 1.015 into 1.25 which is 1294.25 kilogram per centimeter. Then check for the compression stress. So the equation is available on the table 8 in the page number 8.13. Sigma C equal to 0.74 into I plus R plus 1 divided by A into square root of I plus 1 into E into design torque divided by the I into B. So this should be less than or equal to the design compression stress what we calculated earlier. So substitute numerical value sigma C equal to 0.74 into 2 plus 1 divided by 9.45 into square root of 2 plus 1 into 2.15 in 10 power 6 into 1294.25 divided by 2 into 3.5 calculating it is 8112.6 which is lower than 14575 so the actual compressive stress is less than design compressive stress so the design is safe then the check for the bending stress so sigma b the bending actual bending stress of the gear based on the dimensions of the gear I plus 1 divided by AMBY into design torque. So this should be less than or equal to the design bending stress what we calculated earlier. So sigma B equal to 2 plus 1 divided by 9.45 into 0.35 into 3.5 into 0.27 into 1294.25. So calculating it is 1242.2 which is less than 1321.6. So, the actual bending stress is less than the design bending stress. So, the design is safe. So, these two are the check. Check for the compressive stress and check for the bending stress. So, we can stop here. So, we cannot, we need not calculate the check for the, we need not check for the plastic deformation. We stop here. So, this is the procedure to design this per gear. So, first we have to calculate the uh, basic uh, basic equation, design compressive stress, then calculate the center distance, design bending stress, then calculate the module, standardize the module, then you go for calculation. So, go, go for the calculation of basic geometry. Once you have the basic geometry of the gear, then you calculate the, that then you check for the compressive stress and the bending stress. So, these are all the uh, steps. You have to remember the step and you have to take the appropriate equation from the design data book and calculate the numerical value. Now we write the specification of the drive. Module equal to 3.5 millimeter. Center distance A equal to 9.45 centimeter. Number of teeth of the pinion Z1 equal to 18. Number of teeth on the gear Z2 equal to 36. D1 PCD of the uh, pinion D1 equal to 6.3 centimeter. PCD of the gear D2 equal to 12.6 centimeter. Face width B equal to 3.5 centimeter. Addendum FO into M equal to 1 into 3.5 equal to 3.5 centimeter. Redundum F4 plus C into M equal to 1 plus 0.25 into 3.5 equal to 4.375 centimeter. Tooth height equal to addendum plus redundum equal to 3.5 plus 4.375 equal to 7.875 centimeter. Tip circle diameter of the pinion, which is pitch circle diameter plus addendum 6.3 plus 3 6.3 plus 3.5 equal to 9.8 centimeter. And tip circle diameter of the gear, which is pitch circle diameter PCD plus addendum 12.6 plus 3.5 equal to 16.1 centimeter. So, these are all the specification of the drive. Necessarily, you have to write the specification so that you will get the credit, full credit, full mark in the examination. We stop here. These are all the books I have written in the mechanical engineering subject and I, I upload the video lectures on the subject uh, in the YouTube channel. You subscribe the channel, use the videos for your better preparation and to have a good career in mechanical engineering. So, thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. You can contact me through my mail ID or WhatsApp number for any clarification on the subject. We will meet again in another video lectures. We solve two more problems in the next lecture on this per gear design.